Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel Barnon 11970 and as always I want to take the time to thank you for listening to what I have to say. And uh, I wanted to first thank you for the re positive responses I got for the video I made the other day. Um, I'm glad to hear and read that people understand what I like to say. Um, I don't use the word understand as much, it's more understand because it's all about knowing thyself. So I kind of changed that word, but it seems people are getting it. And that, to me, is bef definitely positive. But I wanted to share something because I saw this a lot in the comments, and I see this a lot, and I'm one of those people. The one good thing about those who are going to reach that next level is we, t we one of the requirements is you have to have empathy. You have to be able to care, loving that's why you see a lot of people that are that way have animals, especially strays. I mean, I have three stray cats I've taken in myself. And you want to kind of save the world. And especially when it comes to loved ones, whether it's family or friends or even co-workers or maybe just a complete stranger. Why is it so difficult to be able to help not only yourself, the loved ones around you, why is it that a lot of them just tend to rebel or don't want to hear it. And the best thing I can tell everybody is everybody's at a different level in life. And it's an experience. You are at the level you're at because not because people pushed you in that direction. They may have guided you, they may have helped you along the way, but nobody put you in a headlock and said, okay, you have to listen to this. You did it because you wanted to. A lot of times, the people that we care about are just not at that level, and sometimes may never be at that level. It may take them several lifetimes to figure it out. But like I've said in previous videos, you have to learn from your mistakes. And what will happen is... Even the most stubborn person will eventually learn if something presents itself time and time again. Eventually, somebody will give up, and they'll, they'll try a different path, which always tends to lead them in a better direction, if you can learn from it. And people that are very empathetic, very sympathetic, very caring, we want to take people on our journey. But you have to realize, because like I always say, you need realize to realize, is that this is your experience and nobody can force you to go in a certain direction. So even though you care about people, even though you want to see them reach the levels you're at, if you try and force things, they will naturally rebel. They will become like two opposing magnets that no matter how hard you try and push them together, they will push away. It's almost like having a person that you're not interested in. Let's say you're a single person and you're hanging out with your friends at a bar and somebody approaches you that you just, for whatever reason, do not find attractive. You're not interested in that person. Well, it doesn't matter what they do. You're not going to change your mind. Now, you may meet the person several times and over time you may gradually change your mind. But if your heart is not set on something, it doesn't matter what other people do. So keep that in mind, because what will happen, and this is why a lot of people have a difficult time progressing to other levels, is that they want everybody that they care about to come along with them. And in that process, you hold yourself back. And sometimes holding yourself back actually keeps your loved ones back as well, because if you are not leading by example, well, how can somebody follow along if you remain stagnant because remember it's not what you say it's what you do it's not what you speak about sometimes it's how your family sees you and if all you are is somebody that's be very pushing and trying to convince people how happy you are well they're going to see a side of you that you may not pay attention to because you're not showing how much you love somebody by trying to force somebody to do something that they're not ready for. And they'll be very, sometimes even resentful of it. 
But if you lead by example and show them the way instead of trying to tell them the way and see that your life is improving and you may be becoming more healthy physically or you're happier emotionally and you're able to deal with emotions better and problems better because problems never go away. It's how you respond to them is what the major difference is. So if you have loved ones and you want them to follow in your path, well, give them the path to follow. Don't try and push them on a road they're not ready to go to. And I was saying to somebody in a uh, comment, think of it like math. You will never be able to learn calculus without learning basic math. You have to learn the basics first. It's a step. So if I was a third grade student, I don't care how good a calculus teacher is. If I'm not even understanding that 2 plus 2 is 4, how will I understand complex mathematical equations? You cannot teach somebody who's not at the level that's ready to understand or understand the situation. So lead by example. Let them see what they're missing by how much you are rising. And also remember that even if you love them, you cannot save the world. You have to first save your own world. And then people sometimes like to be followers. So give them something to follow. Don't just tell them how wonderful you are. Show them by being wonderful, by feeling wonderful, by knowing you're wonderful. Not somebody that has to convince themselves. Because if you're trying to convince you and all the world how wonderful you are, then you're not really wonderful. Because actions will always speak louder than words. So the fact that you're listening to this show is you're one of those empathetic people and you care so much about your family and your friends and you want them to be where you're at or where you're headed. But like in any video game, you cannot play the game for somebody else. Some people find the challenge of a video game very entertaining and need to finish the game to draw its conclusion. Some people just want to go around shooting everything that they see, just spinning around in circles, having a great time of their life, but not really going anywhere. If that makes them happy at that moment, then you have to respect that. Because your family is not going to be always at the same level that you're at. So just be loving. Be the empathetic person that you are. Because the higher you raise your vibration the more you help raise the vibration of others. And that's why you can sometimes have family members that never wanted to hear a thing about any of this stuff. And then all of a sudden, years later, they become more curious. Or maybe they started getting some organic food for no reason, or they started thinking healthier. So just by being around them, the energy that you emit is going to affect them. So you are helping them just like others have helped you by just being around you. And that's why even if this video did not come to you directly and you found it, it's all magnetism, it's all energy. So focus on yourself. Like they say, you cannot be able, you cannot love somebody else if you don't love yourself. And you can't just say you love yourself because it has to have meaning. You have to know that you love yourself, not in an egotistical way. But knowing that you're a good person, knowing that you're a caring person, not everybody is going to be at that level. And sometimes people resent. And that's a pro that can be a problem if you let it be. People will be jealous because maybe you put in a decade worth of work and yet just yesterday they learned about this stuff and you're 10 years ahead of them. They don't see all the work and the effort and everything that you put in. They just see, well, I just started. Look at that person. They're... They know so much more. Because in this world of instant everything, people want truth and understanding in an instant. And it just doesn't work that way. It's just like going to school. You don't learn anything, everything the first day. There's a reason why you have grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, and so on. It's because you have to take steps. Otherwise, if you give too much information right away, a person's going to be so overwhelmed that they may just push away and that's why I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that loved ones when you give them too much when they're not ready for it or they don't understand it 
They're going to rebel. They're going to push away. So lead by example. You want them to follow in your footsteps? You got to start walking the path. Talking about how wonderful a path is is nothing compared to actually walking it and knowing what's around the corner and that it doesn't have to be scary just because it's unknown and that as long as you do not walk in fear you will always be led to a place that at the very least you can learn something new and progress that much further so don't try and get it all done in a day don't try and save the world if it was that easy somebody would have done it by now and you can even think with religion if you believe Jesus Christ went around and tried to help people he didn't save the world there are people to this day that believe in him there are people that don't believe in him so if the supposed son of God cannot change everybody there's no way you're going to so don't try lead by example make your life better make it as real as possible and those that care enough and they, they absorb and see your energy they will follow along but if they're not at the path you're at just understand or understand that it's okay it may have taken you hundreds if not thousands of lifetimes to get where you are maybe they still need hundreds of thousands of lifetimes to get where you are now so allow them to enjoy their experience because everybody is here for their own experience not everybody wants to learn everything some people have fun with the whole fact of ignorance being bliss so respect it you may not understand it but respect it and eventually people will follow in your path so thanks for listening hopefully this helps I know it will but if you want to leave a message please do thanks everybody